Hello and good morning. Ask YKK show. This event is done by Infinito Mastermind Community, and my name is Yamshad KK. You can call me YKK. I'm a serial entrepreneur who turned into a business coach. This is a show where I answer questions related to your business challenges. So if you have any question related to your business, you may post it on the Facebook or Instagram. And just hashtag ask why Kiki, and I would answer it in the future episode. And if even you can put find it link in the description of this video, where you it's a Google form. You can just put down your question in that uh, Google form, and I would be answering the same in the future episodes. So before I go forward, I request each and every one of you to like and follow. my facebook page and instagram page so that you don't miss anything i share over there you don't miss any of the future episodes of the ask why kiki show thank you so much for liking and following my facebook page and instagram page so the question for the day is what are the things we should consider when preparing a business strategy amazing question first thing is make sure you write down the business strategy this is one of the mistake i have seen many of the business owners does they have a business strategy but that's inside here it should not be on your in your head it should be in a paper so put down it on the paper write down your business strategy and i would share a couple of things you have to consider for you when you are preparing a business strategy first thing you need is design systems and processes so that everything that happens in your organization goes through a system or process it can be duplicated it should be scalable so first thing is designing systems and processes for your business so that all the day to day activities will be uh, in systems and processes so that is one thing you have to put down in your business strategy next is have a clear vision and mission many of the business owner they are doing business great but they don't have the vision and mission what happen is if you don't have the vision and mission it's like uh, a ship sailing with no direction and no destination so if you don't want to be a ship in a huge ocean with no direction and no destination then you should have a vision and mission for your business organization next thing you need is you should have the uh, procedures and processes to cope up with the uh, market competition there is a lot of competition in the market and you should have strategies and marketing ideas to cope up with the market competition Uh, next thing you need is keeping up with the market transformation that is another thing your market keep changing you can't use the business strategy that you prepared 5 years back right now okay so you should keep updating your business strategy according to the market transformation now people are more preferring stuff that is online so yeah, people doesn't want to go out people look for comfort and easy right now look for something which is pocket friendly so please make sure that uh, you keep up with the market transformation next thing is uh, reduce the dependence on the founding team so if you have a founding team that uh, the team that was there from the beginning of your business is called the founding team reduce the dependence on the founding team and make systems and procedures and assign or delegate those works to the new team members so that you don't depend totally on the founding uh, team member that is one big uh, challenge you are going to face if something happens or if you uh, to the founding member founding team member or if the founding team member just leave your organization you will face the challenge so it not to do to keep you safe reduce the dependence on founding team the next thing you have to do is balance the quality and growth of your organization so put procedures and processes for balancing quality and growth of your organization 
Uh, another thing you should include in your uh, business strategy is leveraging business coach and mentors. Okay, you don't have time or money to do all the mistakes in your business by yourself. So if you hire or leverage the experience of a business coach or a business mentor, you can save a lot of money, you can save a lot of time by avoiding the mistakes that business coach has experienced or learned or business mentor knows. So leverage business coach and mentor. This is something most of the business owner uh, doesn't utilize. So that is the one thing you can do. I'll just repeat design systems and processes, clear uh, the vision and mission, cope up with the market competition, keep up with the market transformation, reducing dependence on founding team member, uh, balance quality and growth of your organization. Last but not the least, most important thing, leverage business coach and business mentor. Thank you so much for watching the Ask YKK show. If you have any other idea suggestion related to this question, you can post it in the comment box below. And also make sure you share this video with your friends so that everyone will be benefited by it. So thank you so much for your comments. Thank you so much for sharing. So this is the Ask Waikiki show where we answer questions related to your business challenges. This is an event by Infinito Mastermind Community. My name is Yipshat KK. You can call me YKK. I'm a serial entrepreneur who turned into a business coach. And if you haven't yet liked or followed my Facebook page or Instagram page, please do it right now so that you get updated by the future episodes. Thank you so much for listening. Have a nice day. Take care and bye-bye.